Polly here with Cut at Home. Today I'm going to make a card with the Cut Matte Create dies and some of the stamps that go with that set to show you how easy it is to create cards with the Cut Matte Create dies as well as scrapbook pages so it is very versatile. I'm going to do some embossing and coloring of the stamp and I already cut out a 5 by 7 card base and I cut out two rectangles from the Cut Matte Create set. I also cut out one of the little scroll work embellishments that come with that die set. I wanted to show you how easy it is to use another tool that's available at Cut at Home. The Spellbinders Tool in One. If you have a lot of intricate dies, Spellbinder dies, or the Heartfelt Creation dies, this tool is a must. I cut out another one of the scroll embellishments and you can see all the tiny little pieces in this. Normally it would be really hard to get this out and to get out all those little pieces of paper but with this tool and this brush all you do is just rub on top and all the little pieces come right out of your die and your image comes right out too. The first time I tried this I couldn't believe how great it works so I just wanted to show you that. So to save a little bit of time I have already embossed the sentiment thanks a bunch. And what I'm going to do is I have a stippling brush and I'm going to use Tim Holtz Distressed Ink in Forest Moss and I'm going to just stipple the edges of this and it's kind of Just tap on the edges. And you can always go in and darken the edges. And there's how that looks with the stippling on the edges. And that's going to get adhered to this base. Like that. And now I am going to stamp the other image that I'm going to use. And for the embossing, I am going to use Versmark. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that image and I'll come back and show you the embossing process. I have stamped my image and I put the embossing powder on the stamped image. Now I'm going to heat it with my heat gun. And as you apply the heat, you'll be able to see the image change. So you'll know when the embossing powder actually has melted onto the image.
And here's how the image looks embossed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my die and cut around the image. And then I'm going to add some highlights with some Spectrum Nora markers. The next thing I'm going to do is take a few Spectrum Nora markers. I have some yellow. I have um, CT1, CT2, CT3, and CT4. I also have DG4. Now these are the older markers. They do have new ones now. And I am just going to go ahead and add some highlights in here. For this, this is for the viney parts. I'm just going to add this in there for that. And then for the yellow, I'm just going to do a few highlights. And I think what I'm going to do too is I'm going to stipple a little bit like I did around the other piece on this as well. Probably not as much. Just going in and adding a little bit of darker highlights. Not doing too much with the green because the embossing adds extra dimension. And now with the yellow, I'm going to use the lightest color first, CT1. And I'm just going to color in real lightly the top of the petals, but I'm not going all the way in. And what I'll do is I'll come back in with a couple of the darker colors. I'm not sure how many of them I'm going to use just to add some more dimension. And the darkest yellow I think I'm going to use for the center of the flower. 
You can kind of see how that's coming along. So then what you would do is go to your next second darkest color and add a little more on the edge. And what you can do, if you don't like how it's blended, you can go back in with your lighter color and blend over it a little bit. And once you add in your other, i probably go one more shade darker just on the tips of the flowers. Then i got to decide what I want to do with the butterfly yet. A lot of times coloring the markers, what you remember is sometimes more is less. I usually end up being really heavy handed and color too much. So I'm trying to pull back on that a little bit. And then I'll go on to the last color that I'm going to use for the flower and just do the tips of the petals. You can pull a little bit of the darker color into the center if you'd like. And then I'm going to go ahead and color in the center.
going around the edges to make those a little darker. And here's how my image looks so far. I'm going to add a few finishing touches and put the card together. And I'll be back to show you the final product. Here's my finished card. I added a few more highlights. I did end up adding some CT4 in there as well. And some GB4. I added some gems for embellishments and there is my card. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. Until next time, thanks and happy scrapping.